Hi guys, I'm Rachel with the Lake Hazel Library and today we're going to do some explosive experiments. Hopefully you can hear me with all that's going on outside. Um, we're going to be doing some elephant toothpaste um, and we're going to be using 12% hydrogen peroxide which is more than we've ever used in the past so hopefully it'll explode great. Otherwise, I don't know, that's why science is fun. Um, so let's get started with that. We're going to need stuff. to make it look more like toothpaste so I chose green that's my favorite color then we're gonna do a nice big squirt of Dawn dish soap um, we do this so that it creates um, surface tension so that bubbles can actually form and then I have some One tablespoon in with our two tablespoons of warm water. so you guys can see what's going on here. The yeast is kind of like building up a little, so just stir it a little bit. We still got chunkies in there, but hopefully that'll be okay. <laughs> So I'm going to move because I don't know how explosive this is going to be. So. Woohoo! <laughs> Look at that elephant toothpaste. What? That like went instantly. The whole reason that it comes out like this is we had the hydrogen peroxide at the bottom and then we put the surface tension which is the dish soap. And then when we pour in the yeast, which is the activator, it creates bubbles and all sorts of air pockets that form down in that hydrogen peroxide. And then that makes it just suddenly go boom with like all of this tension and stuff. It's still kind of going. That is so cool. That's probably the best one I've gotten yet with the 12%. Um, okay, we're gonna move over to our coke and mentos over here and I just bought this coke so hopefully it will work great and we have our mentos we have this cool little thing that we screw onto the top and then we can put the mentos in and then just release so we don't have to just put in one at a time and then not get the full effect. How many are you going to use today, Rachel? I am going to fill this up as much as possible and we will see how many that is. And right now we have three, four, five, six, <laughs> Seven. I think we're gonna use seven oh today. Oh boy. 
So I'm gonna stand here and hopefully I don't ruin my pants. excited for because I've never done this before. I'm shaking up my can of soda here and we talked about bubbles being at the bottom with the elephant toothpaste. Um, so when you shake up this can and you pop it, it's gonna go everywhere just like those Mentos and Coke just did. But I heard a rumor. Is this shaking enough, Christine, do you think? <laughs> okay. So. That if you tap the bottom and release all those air bubbles that it won't explode on you. Now I've never done this before so uh, I might be ruining my clothes for you guys today all in the name of science. I don't know if it's <laughs> and this is where you can get your own can or if this doesn't work for me then don't do this or you can outside Myth busted. It is. It did not explode, and that's because re we released all the bubbles before we opened it. And because those bubbles then moved to the top instead of the bottom, there wasn't all those bubbles suddenly rushing up to the top to try to get out. And thanks for joining us. Uh, try to make your own science experiments. Look for others online that you're not so sure about, and try them out. Let us know. Thanks. Bye.